What is up, Roughnecks? This is Pound Source Rex, and today we're going to be discussing how to make wet and dry bricks in Raft. So, take a second to subscribe, like the video, and let's get right into it. Alright, guys, so first off, you are going to need to make, uh, well, get sand. So if you need that video, right up above. Secondly, you're going to need clay. So that video, right there. All right, guys, so if you need those, but if you already have those, they're right here in your inventory. We are going to go right in here, and we're going to look under this resources tab. Right here is wet brick. Um, if you need to get it, you go right over here to your table. You're going to put clay up here, research it. You're going to put sand up here, and you're going to research it. Well, it doesn't look like you research sand, but you research the clay, and you should have... Um, the wet bricks unlocked so now that we can make some wet bricks we are going to want to make at least a minimum to start of six of them for our smelter which we will make in a later video but just to get started because the main thing you're going to use these wet bricks for is to make a smelter we want to make six of them so here they are in your inventory so now we have wet bricks what do we do with them uh because we need them to be dry well you're going to set them on your boat you're gonna just set them down I recommend setting them away from the edge because the shark will bite the edge and then your then your brick is gone basically so you put them in on the inside of your boat a little bit you just lay them out and when they're ready you can pick them back up all right guys Let's just hold on and I will fast forward to when they are dry. All right, guys, so here they are drawing right in front of us and you could just pick them up. And there we go, we have dry bricks and we need a minimum of six of them to make the smelter, which we will cover in another episode. So take a second to subscribe, like the video, and if I don't see you in the comments below, I'll see you in the next one.